family and friends. Uh, Charlie Duchesne here to do another Trump Camper Mod video. And this is to my Chalet Double Slide. And I'm broadcasting here from the our brand new RV bay in Florida. But this mod involves the back steps. And as you can see in the back there, my steps have always been an issue. And most truck campers, they become an issue because of the height variations. So let's take a little walk back there and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so what you see here is basically what would come relatively standard on a truck camper. It's a set of steps that folds into a compartment, especially on a double slide like ours with a side entry. Um, these stairs hide away, and then when you want to use them, you just pull them out. Now this works great in general, except I have the camper leveled right now, and this bottom step to the ground is 20 inches off the ground. Now that's way too high. So consequently, we normally carry an additional step like this. But that's sort of a pain in the neck. And as you can see, this distance here isn't quite right. So it never really works out well. Right. And because the ground varies all the time, it could be more or less. And then to compound it, if we take the truck camper off the truck, and, and we normally would lower way down, where this comes down to here, which is perfect. So in some instances, when it's off the truck, these steps work perfect. But when it's on the truck, they're just not far enough. If you try to have a fourth step, it, it starts getting even more unstable. So my goal is to fabricate another set of steps that'll rest on the ground and then hook on to this metal plate and that you can take off, take on. So when you're using the camper on the truck, you'd use these additional steps. When you have it, the camper off the truck, you'd use these steps. So it has to be able to be used in either situation. So that's my goal for today. Now, I can fabricate almost anything, except I look long and hard for a set of steps, step stools, things like that, step ladders, that I can use and modify. So what I found was these little giant steps, and they neatly unfold, as you see, like that. So my goal is to take this set of steps, which I like this, I like this the way they fold, flat, so I can store them. But this height uh, isn't quite right. It has to go up a couple inches. So I need to take this whole ladder apart while maintaining these steps that you see. And then I'm gonna take this step, add a piece, and it'll hook on this, onto this plate. So, that's my goal. Let's go take this thing apart. Okay, here we are in my new wood shop. It's time to start taking this apart. And what I really don't want is this back section. I want the ladder, but not all this support section. So that's what I'm gonna take off. Okay, that's two more snap rings we need. Now I'm pulling these pins. Nice, I took it all apart without any cotton or anything. 
Well, here you have it. This is the steps roughly in place. Um, each of these steps is nine inches. And then this step up to here is nine inches. So my plan is to put a, attach some eye bolts to the back of the top step with a rod that will go across to these metal plates that will hold the weight. And that will support the top. Um, that way it will also allow it to adjust um, to uneven ground on the bottom. Okay, after carefully holding the steps up to the trailer and finding out where it's centered, um, I want to take my three-quarter inch shaft and it's going to go through this plate and this plate. So, um, after getting the height right, nine inches, which is that step and all the rest of these steps, I want it nine inches down, that comes just under this arm here, like this. So that's my plan, is to drill a hole right there and over here. And you get one shot at this. So it has to be the same depth in, the same depth down. Um, and I have it laid out and now I just have to use a center punch mark the spot. Okay, one thing I did do, this um, step, as you see here, is actually all aluminum. And it's just a, a relatively thin, less than an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths aluminum, which I feel is a little flexible. Um, and I attached these eye hooks to it, and I was afraid, even though I put a piece of steel in here, that this whole plate may flex a little when you get excessive weight on the step. So one thing I did to try to combat that is, as you can see here, I put in, besides this piece of steel that runs the whole length, I put in a piece of quarter inch thick angle iron. Uh, it's aluminum, it runs the full length, they have um, bolts four bolts on the outside here that bolt to the steel. So if this tries to flex, this will try to move, and then this will all be caught. And that piece of aluminum will try to flex, and then I put up three bolts, stainless steel carriage bolts, through the aluminum, and they come out right here. So now with this top step, is very, very stable. If this tries to flex at all, um, this piece of aluminum and the steel will keep that back nice and rigid. So I think we're all set for a good tryout this weekend. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to assemble this. Um, something I need to show you first though is I made three pieces of PVC pipe. Um, these will go like this and they're made to space the steps evenly and this middle piece is a T as you see and this when the pipe goes through this it gets supported all the way down to the base of these other steps um, the trailer itself this way any excessive weight on the steps will be carried by this piece and not just the, the shaft alone. So this makes the whole system a lot more stronger and able to carry heavier weights. There's 
step. Get that started. And then this middle piece. See the shaft just slides nicely through the whole thing. And this piece, all the way. And then the clip on the end. There you go. Now, as you can see, the step can't go anywhere. It's centered perfectly and it's able to carry lots of weight. No problem. Well, now that the steps are all attached at the top um, and you can pivot to allow for uneven terrain at the bottom, it's time to add some adjustment at the bottom to account for uneven ground. And after looking long and hard, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, Mike Tassinari, told me to look into the torque lift all-terrain landing gear. And here they are. They're perfect for what I'm looking to do. They're made to be added to the bottom of steps. And I can add them to the bottom legs of this ladder with some slight modification. And the way that they're all aluminum, um, with stainless steel hardware and it articulates to look for the um, angle of the ladder and then you just push this button and it'll go down to allow for you to have uneven ground. So my goal now is to find a way to attach these to the bottom of the ladder um, to make it a nice neat assembly. So let's start on that. My goal is to add these torque lift all-terrain landing gear to the back of the ladder. Um, sort of like this. And put a, cut off this excess piece and just put a few bolts through into this thick aluminum rib on the back. Um, I like it being on the back side, it's not in the way in the front, and it helps support the weight too. So my goal is to start marking things up and modifying a few things. That's so I know where to cut it. As you can see here, I'm starting to cut a piece of aluminum and this will form what I would call a big long washer which will actually support the step, the landing gear. Um, I'm rounding over the end of it so it has a nice smooth round bull nose, no sharp corners. And then drilling holes um, that will allow the bolts to go through. Okay, now it's time to start putting the, the torque lift all-terrain landing gear on the ladder. It's going to go on the back side, like that, where this bumps up against this piece. And I put it on the back side so when the weight's on it, the weight's carried not just by the hardware, but also by the ladder resting on the back side of this. Um, so the way it'll go is I built some long washers to help spread the weight over this uh, thin aluminum tube. Um, so 
So that'll go there. Then you put a washer with a bolt through it. And then put it on. And I have nylock nuts. chamfer a little right here so that this would be able to instead of pivoting just that amount it'll pivot all the way over um, because my ladder is at such an angle but it fits perfect here we go that's perfect in line with the leveling foot so now I can adjust it easily by just pushing the button all the way up to its max adjustment all the way down to his minimum. So that is perfect. Well, here are the landing gear. On this ladder, all mounted to the camper, and it works perfect. As you can see, it can artic articulate to find the ground nice and level. And it's very sturdy. Here's the, a good look at the landing gear. Uh, attached to the back side of the step. Um, doesn't get into the way when I fold it up. Um, as you can see, it will find the ground level and level out, which is perfect. And then if the ground really slopes down, I just lift it up and you can move it down to whatever height you want. And do the other side also if that needs it. There we go. It's perfect the way it articulates and finds the ground and carries my weight no problem. So this is a great addition to these steps. I'm really happy with the way it came out and that it's all aluminum stainless steel. There we go. That's how it should be normally right now. According to my level, the steps are perfectly level. Camper's level, these are level. Perfect. If you'd like to purchase the uh, Little Giant Ladder or the Torque Lift um, All-Terrain Landing Gear, you can find an internet link um, in the description under the video. So just take a look for that and you'll be taken right where you can buy it.